name Rachel, I create colourful paintings and I make tutorials so that you can learn how to paint them too. In this video I show you how I painted this pretty pink hair painting from start to finish. If you'd like to watch the full length step by step tutorial where I explain everything that I'm doing then just head over to my Patreon, I'll add the link into the description of this video. The full length tutorial is over two hours long and I explain the whole process for you. I started off by painting the background. I wanted it to look like a sunset so I used a mix of yellow, pink and purple paints to create this effect. I painted the background in two layers. In the first layer I put the colours onto the canvas and in the second layer I created texture to add more interest. I love using these sunset themed colours in my animal paintings as it's a great way to add colour and warmth to the painting. I always sketch the animal onto the canvas before starting my painting so that I'm confident that the composition and perspective is right. Some people like to do this while they are painting, however I like to make the process as stress-free and enjoyable as possible so it helps me to know exactly where the animal is going to be. There's no right or wrong way and it's definitely not cheating to do this, just create your art in a way that's the most enjoyable for you. The more you enjoy the process, the better your painting will be. I love using back and side lighting in my animal paintings, especially if I'm mimicking the light from a sunset. I started painting the very edge of the hair with white paint where the fur would be the brightest from the sun. I painted the hair in two layers, so this first layer will probably look a bit messy, um, but that's just because I'm focusing on the colours and lights and shadows, and in the next layer I will focus on the detail and the texture. I speak about the process of using layers a lot in my art videos, but that's because I think it's really helpful, especially for beginner painters. We often put way too much pressure on ourselves trying to get everything perfect the first time around, which then makes the process of painting really stressful when something goes wrong. Whereas if you start out knowing that you're going to be working in layers, if something goes wrong or doesn't look quite right, you can just think to yourself, that doesn't matter as I can fix that in the next layer. For me, this is the best way to reduce stress and really relax into the painting. I used similar colours to paint the hair as I did in the background. This isn't something that I usually do, I usually want my paintings to be as bright and colourful as possible which often means that I'll use a lot of contrasting colours, however for this painting I wanted it to look like the sunset was being reflected in the rabbit's fur. It's still really colourful, there's just less contrast within the painting as I'm using a more subtle colour palette. I used the yellow paint on the brightest sections of the rabbit's fur and pink and purple paint on the midtones and shadowed areas. I'm using acrylic paint to create this painting. Acrylic is my favourite medium to work with, mainly because it's so easy. It's easy to apply, it's easy to clean up, it mixes with water, it's great for working in layers. One thing that some people find with acrylics is that sometimes the colours dry to a more dull shade. However, I have found that as long as you use a decent brand and the right colours, then the colours are still really bright and colourful once they're dry. I show you all of the exact paints and colours that I use in this painting in the full length tutorial on my Patreon as well as any other materials that I use or recommend. The bright highlighted edges of the hair are really important in this painting to make sure that the animal will stand out against the background. Because they are really similar in colour, if I didn't paint the bright edge then the hair would probably have blended into the background and not stood out at all. It also gives the subject some really dramatic lighting which I think looks really cool. I really hope you like watching the process of me creating this hair painting. If you have any questions at all, just leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this.